Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to check the timing chain tensioner on your 2-liter TSI engine. All right, like I said, we're going to be checking to see whether you have the old timing chain tensioner or the new timing chain tensioner on your four-cylinder TSI engine. So this is going to be the CCTA, the CBFA, as well as the Audi equivalent four-cylinder engines. This is also applicable on the A4s as well. In fact, some of the footage you're going to be seeing was actually done on an engine out of an A4. But before we get into the show, let's talk about the sponsor of the day, which is Deutsch Auto Parts. These guys are the Volkswagen Audi parts experts. Awesome service, incredible pricing, ton of really great DIY videos, and they also make a kit so you can DIY this job just in case you need to replace your timing chain tensioner. Also, special shout out to my friends at Apex Tuning. This is the place that I go whenever I need to do some video work that I can't do at the dealership. So these guys are always awesome and help me out. We checked one of their customers, Nate, who's a really great dude. Uh, we checked his timing chain tensioner that you guys will see in a few minutes. Plus the footage that, like I mentioned on the A4, came from an engine they had in the shop. So Apex Tuning, thank you guys so much for always being there to help me out. Guys, check them out at Apex-Tuning. I'll be sure to put links in the video notes for you guys to check them out. All right, this is actually a really easy DIY to do but a really hard DIY to video. Because we're working in a very narrow spot that's hard to shove a camera, you know, it would have been a lot easier to disassemble a bunch of stuff on this car, but I kind of want to show you guys exactly what you're going to be doing while you're doing this inspection of the timing chain tensioner. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it on this cover here. We're going to be looking at one on a stand, and then we're going to look at how it actually happens while the engine is in the car. I've actually done a how parts fail video on the timing chain tensioners. I'll be sure to link it up. You guys can check that out if you wanna know more specifics about the tensioner. All right, the only tools that we're going to need for this job is a way to get the car off the ground. And we really only need to get the front right corner off the ground. We are going to need a long flat blade screwdriver as well as an inspection mirror. Now, if you have a TIG one, you are going to need to take the belly pan off. So you're going to need a T45 Torx as well as a T25 Torx in order to get the belly pan out of the way. You might be able to shove an inspection mirror up through like the gapping in the belly pan. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal to just take the belly pan off or at least drop it down on the back end and let it hang while you use your inspection mirror to get up in there and take a look. All right, so let's start off with this cover that I have on the bench. This is going to be the front of your engine or the passenger side, depending on which way the engine is facing. But this is what's going to be the front of the engine. The crankshaft is right here. This tiny plug right here is actually what we're going to be inspecting. The timing chain tensioner does sit right behind it. So as long as we have our belly pan out of the way, we're going to take our long screwdriver. We're going to get right up underneath this plug and pry the plug out. This is actually easier when the engine's warm. I'm probably gonna struggle to get this plug out with it on the bench. And you'll see we actually struggled getting the plug off of the engine that was sitting on the floor as well. You need to also be careful when prying on this plug because you don't want to bend the cover. If you bend the cover, you create the potential for oil leaks. So again, a warm engine is a little bit better than a stone cold engine. You're going to actually be prying up like this when you're doing it in the car. So we're gonna get in about this spot right here. There we go. <laughs> that came off easier than I expected. Once we pry the cover off, We're going to see the timing chain tensioner behind it sort of like that. Now remember this is going to be way above your head or above your head anyway. Whether it's way or not, you know, depends on how far you lift the car up. So we're actually going to be taking the inspection mirror at an angle about like this in order to look, because we're going to be down here below it, in order to look and see what tensioner we have. If we see we have this tensioner, we know it's time for a new tensioner. If we have the newest revision, watch that video about how parts fail. That'll show you exactly what the tensioners all look like. So whether we have work to do on our tensioner or not, we're gonna also pop our plug back in. It should go back in pretty easy. You may need to kind of persuade it a little bit with the screwdriver. It's also never a bad idea to put a little oil lubricant on the seal and pop it back in. 
or it's really not a bad idea either to go ahead and replace it, especially if you have the newest tensioner. If you have the old revision tensioner, you are going to want to be replacing this entire cover. Um, taking it off tends to bend it around the edges, and that does create an oil leak. As you see here, we have an Audi A4 engine sitting on the stand, kind of like I struggled with the cover here on the bench. You can see we struggled to get that plug off, but this gives you a really good idea of what you would be looking at if you're looking at it face on. All right, now let's go ahead and move to the car. We have the car all the way up in the air, which does again make it quite a bit easier. No need to take any parts off on Nate's GTI, but again, if this was a Tiguan, you'd want to take the entire belly pan off. We go ahead and pop the cover right off. You see we have a warm engine, so the cover pops right off without any issue. We get the mirror up there, sort of between the boost pipe and the cover, and you're going to have to move the mirror around in a way where you can see it. You know, everybody's going to be looking at this at a slightly different angle, so you're going to have to kind of move your inspection mirror around in a way that allows you to see inside that little inspection hole and look at what generation of tensioner that your vehicle has. This vehicle does have the old style tensioner. Again, this is a really easy DIY to do and a really hard DIY to shoot. And because we are going to have to replace this cover anyway as part of the job, we'll go ahead and put the inspection cover back on and let the car go to make the repairs on another day. All right, guys, there you have it. That is exactly how you check to see whether you have the old generation, new generation, mid generation, timing chain tensioner on your car. Again, shout out to the boys at Apex Tuning and Nate, Nate, thanks for letting me use your car. Boys at Apex Tuning, thank you guys so much for always being there to help me out. I really appreciate all the stuff that you guys do for me. You guys are awesome. If you're in the Raleigh area and you drive a Volkswagen or an Audi, check them out. Good group of dudes. Uh, we're gonna actually be working on my VR6 a little bit together, so that'll be a whole lot of fun. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments, please post it in the comments section below. Hey, if you like the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at humblemechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the blog, and right here on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. <sighs> God, that's tough to get on.